Hi, my name is Mike Watts and I'm the principal at Leonardtown High School. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the one hour lunch program. You will also hear from three students today, the junior class presidents at each of the three high schools, Leonardtown High School, Great Mills High School, and Chopticon High School. I'm Nolan Rapazzi. I am the junior class president at Leonardtown High School. Our, our mission for the one hour lunch is for students to utilize their time wisely, whether it be um, uh, scheduling out the week or the month uh, for what they have to do and what to do, kind of making a syllabus for themselves, uh, finishing homework or doing homework if they uh, so feel like it. Um, also, getting involved with uh, school activities is one of the bigger ones. Is now they have the opportunity, they can now get the motivation to, to do so. The benefits for students are just too rich to not do the one-hour lunch program. The benefits are students have increased instructional time, they have tutoring opportunities and remediation opportunities built in during the school day that normally students would have either before school or after school. Students will also be able to really connect with their teachers and their peers and they'll be able to build relationships and see their peers and their teachers in a different light other than the normal and traditional setting. Students have access to technology during the day. They have a, a full hour where they can utilize technology. So this is time where they can use type up papers, um, utilize research, and computer labs and media centers during the school day. So there are a lot of benefits to this one hour lunch program and 99% of those benefits are geared towards student success. Hello, my name is Rosalie Anspera Santos. I'm your junior class president. The opportunities that you'll be given during the one hour lunch is that you'll be given tutoring opportunities. You can make up tests, you can make up quizzes or lab assignments. You can also have some fun, you can do clubs and you can do things to pursue your interests. Or if you want, then you can just sit down and you can take a break. You can go outside and play with your friends, basketball, volleyball, frisbee, anything that you'd like. But the thing is, if you get in trouble, if you're doing something that you're not supposed to do, or you get caught up in ISI or whatever, then you're not going to be able to take the opportunities that the one hour lunch gives you. I'm Hannah Hudson, the junior class president of Chopticon High School, and I'm here to talk about the satellite locations and new lunches that will be available for next year. Satellite locations will, be, will now be able to eat in the auditorium lobby. There will be new tables that will be ordered for the courtyard, which people use to transport between classes. And we will not be allowed to eat in the hallways, stairways, media center, or the auditorium. The auditorium will be closed completely during lunch. You will be able to eat your lunches in other teachers' classrooms as long as you have a tray in hand and that can be used as your pass. And we'll also have new lunch options available such as new salad which includes cranberry almond. We'll be having new types of wraps such as buffalo chicken wraps and we'll also be serving pastas such as chicken curry and a bunch of other things. We'll also be having new drinks such as Powerade and Naked Juice and you will be able to get these grab and go options outside of the auditorium because we will be having setups out there to where you can get your lunch. We'll also still have the current lunches that are available and you will be able to get those options as well as the new options in the cafeteria or by the grab and go outside of the auditorium. What about the scheduling piece of the one hour lunch program? We've typically had eight periods. We'll continue to have eight periods just with a little time difference. The time difference where we basically stole 15 minutes to make one period 60 minutes instead of 45 minutes was the old schedules, there was a period either it was first period, second period, third period, maybe towards the end of the day, that there was one extended period for about 55 minutes. And that usually is when each school did their morning announcements and um, all their information to students and things like that um, throughout the day. That was their morning announcement time or their afternoon announcement time. So we took 10 minutes from that period and because of the, we don't have to transition as much during the lunch periods um, with different transition times and lack of, of hallway time, we were able to find another five minutes, which is how we got our 15 minutes to add to our six period lunch for an hour. I wanna thank you all for your support of this program. It is a work in progress, but it is a true benefit to students and we believe in this program and hope that you do too. So if you're here at Leonardtown next year or at any other school, uh, stop by at 12 o'clock in the lunchroom. I'll see you there. And I'll see you next year at the one hour lunch. And we'll see you next year at the one hour lunch. Hope you guys enjoy it.